it's Lori here from Revision Effects, and we're going to talk about Flickr and how our plugin, DFlickr, can help you. Today we're going to specifically address rolling bands. This type of flicker is also called horizontal stripes and rolling shutter flutter, among a few other names. It can be frustrating as it isn't always obvious when you're checking the little digital display screen on your camera while shooting. It looks like dark horizontal bands traveling up the screen. They basically occur when the camera and lights are out of sync. It happens often when shooting live events like weddings or concerts where people shoot stills and videos at the same time and the video inherits the still settings, or TVs and computer monitors because the artificial lighting like fluorescent and certain LEDs and the CMO sensors get out of sync, especially when dimmed. Drone footage can also inherit some rolling bands and flicker due to shadows from the propellers at certain angles to the sun. You can check out our playlist with some tutorials on how not to get these rolling bands when shooting. But just in case you do get them, we have a plugin called Rolling Bands that will help you get rid of them. You can find the Rolling Bands plugin in the latest version of DFlickr, so if you don't see it, it's time to upgrade. Let's start with the shot of this hanging chandelier. In this shot, we have one main band that rolls up the screen. We can add DFlickr Rolling Bands. Next, we will locate a frame where the band is most visible and rest on that frame. If you don't want to read the manual, there's this little cheat right here where it says how to. It will get you going with the steps to take in order to get rid of the bands. I'll just run through the steps for you to make it even easier. We can start by going to display and choosing set master band. And in this case, where there is only one distinct band instead of multiple bands, we can check the single band box as two bands is the default. Then we can define the top and bottom of the band. Now you will go back to the display mode and choose bands over RGB and adjust the band height and separation if there are multiple bands. We can enable keyframing for the band offset and advance a few frames and adjust the offset, which will set another key. This will tell the plugin how fast the band moves. Usually two keyframes will do, and if the movement is a little erratic, you can use the additional adjust offset slider to add more keyframes for any small drifts, like I did here. Now I can go to display and choose result. This is where we can adjust the look. You first adjust the outer band edges by using feather. You can get a head start with the color correction by going to estimate RGB shift and select press to compute. This will give you an initial idea of the red, green, and blue shift inside or outside the band. You can also choose the correct method, which will vary project by project. In this case, I got the best result using number three, gamma encoded gain. Once you have a decent correction, you can fine tune by adding temporal processing, which might eliminate or soften band edge issues. The temporal processing is defined by the number of frames used. If the value is 1, which is the default, there is no temporal processing applied. If the value is 3, three frames are used, one before and one after. I used method 3, merge surrounding frames, but that was determined by trying all of them for the best result and then adjusting the temporal processing number of frames as well as the temporal max changes, which is simply a way to reduce artifacts, if any. Just FYI, there is no temporal processing applied until you've animated the band offset slider. Note, if you still didn't get a color correction that you were entirely happy with, you can output a mat for the bands by changing the display to bands only and render the mat and correct the color elsewhere. In this next example of the wedding cake, I can uh, cheat a little by adding a color correction prior to the rolling bands plugin temporarily just to set up so we can see an enhanced version of the bands. We can see if I turn on and off the color correction that we have a much more defined band scenario, which might make it easier to set the master band and define the position and size. We can just turn that off before we do the color correction. So we go through the same process as the last one. We locate a frame where the bands are most visible and go to display and choose set master band and define a band top and the band bottom, and then we adjust the other point to define where the center of the next band is. We go to display mode and choose 
bands over RGB and adjust the band height, the separation, and the offset if needed. Next, we enable keyframing for band offset, and we can advance a few frames and adjust the offset. Remember, we can add keyframes to the Adjust Offset slider to compensate for any additional drift. Now I can go to Display and choose Result and adjust the look. We adjust the feather and the color correction and then the temporal processing if needed. Now we can see the before and after. In this last example today, we have some drone footage shot by my friend Anita in a cool seaside resort in Tuscany. Some of the shots flicker due to the shadows from the propellers and the angle of the sun. You can see some bands rolling up on the edges. Let's see how we can get rid of them. At first I thought this would be great for the Rolling Bands plugin, but after trying it out I realized that the bands are more erratic and I couldn't establish a pattern. I decided to try one of our other deflicker plugins, High Speed. I started by adding a color correction and put it before the high speed to enhance the contrast temporarily. This is just while I'm setting up the shot like I showed you in rolling bands. It just helps to see the bands better. Now moving on to high speed. Since the footage stops and starts and the bands were a little erratic as I mentioned before, I left the settings default except for next frame step, which is only visible if time sampling is set to frame. I advanced frames to where the footage stops, and I added a keyframe to set next frame step to 1. I put my cursor at the bottom of the band and I advanced frames until my cursor is at the top of the band, which was 4 frames in this case. So I put a 4 in the box. I did that because I don't want to blend with frames that contain a band. I rendered that and it looked good, except that the roof is now flickering. So I added a second iteration of deflicker high speed and just left it at the default settings. Now you can see that we have a really good result. Here's the before and after. 